Leo Butts and Katie Holmes spring to life on stage in the edgy comedy Dead Accounts, a brand new Broadway show about what happens when the East Coast and the Midwest collide. We're here on opening night to talk to these stars about playing dead. So tell me, what brings you out to Dead Accounts opening night? Uh, I'm here to see my friends, and uh, Katie Holmes and I just worked together. She did a film of mine that I just directed, so uh, and we worked together on stage. That's when I first met her, so it's sort of full circle to see her up there. This is like a, a dream cast. I, I'm very excited to see all of them, and uh, Judy Greer and Katie Holmes and uh, Josh Hamilton, uh, our friends, and Norbert. It's so great that, that they've been assembled for this. The combination of these actors with Teresa and with Jack, it's sort of, it's just an amazing, uh, collection of people that I think you know will get a lot of people a lot of butts in the seats I would think is there anything like an opening night on Broadway nothing truly I've been the movie premieres these are they're classier they're, they're it's just nicer you know it, it's it's there's nothing like it What are the emotions like tonight? Second big opening night on Broadway. It was really exciting. Um, you know, I, I'm really proud of this show and I, I love being a part of it and I love Jack O'Brien and um, Teresa and this whole cast. So it's really a celebration of some hard work and wonderful work. I really think it's a beautiful show and I loved working on it with Jack and it was a really a process that I feel has made me a more whole. I teared up a little bit when I was bowing on stage after the play was over. It was like a lot to see all the people standing and the press running up to take our picture and getting flowers on stage. That was really, it was like the moment I've been dreaming of since I became an actress. So it was really moving. Overall, how have audiences been reacting and responding to the show? Yeah, no, they love it. They they just love it. Um, you know, it's, it's, the, it's, it's five characters who are, you know, Hyper relatable. Since the first preview, people have found it terrifically funny, which I think it is. But I've also talked to a lot of people after they've seen the show. When they get home, they start thinking about things and asking questions, and and uh, I think it's thought provoking and in a lot of positive ways. They laugh and they applaud at the end, which is, you know, you really can't ask for more than that. Yeah. They don't throw things at us. They don't storm out. I think they've been surprised by the play because it goes in a lot of different interesting directions. It doesn't just sort of pay off. It, it takes little journeys and it turns corners and reveals things about relationships that you didn't even think you were going to get. What makes family so funny? <laughs> we all have one. Isn't it the best to laugh at yourself? Teresa says her characters tend to speak. Um, knee-jerk reactions and then retract and and elaborate um, which is what you do um, in a close-knit family nobody knows how to push your buttons more than family and so you know since we all identify so readily with that it really does make great fodder for cavities I'm sure in every project you're in you you pick up little nuggets of wisdom here and there what did you pick up this time around that if you eat too much ice cream in too short of a time span your interior plumbing will um, stop working. I've learned that, you know, I am a hard worker. I've learned that directors do know what they're talking about. And if I haven't been able to ask Jack O'Brien, our director, a question, if he hasn't been there, I could ask Norbert, I can ask Katie, I can ask Jane. Like, we all want to make the play awesome. Sometimes when you're doing a movie, you don't even meet the other actors in the movie, and you have no idea what type of performance they're giving. So this is really special. Thank you.